start. Fair warned this uh, this afternoon that we've got a packed agenda, so uh, we'll try to uh, get through it as much as we can. The only person that I can't see is Rupert. Is Rupert joining us for the Warsaw bit? Um, Rupert should be joining us. I did. Um, I've just seen his uh, emblem come up, uh, but he, he was joining us. He should be here. Okay. But he did. I did speak to him this morning. And he did say that he got some internet connections problems. So, um, but I have seen him try to join and then drop out. Okay. Well, let's just keep an eye on that then, uh, if that's okay. okay. So, so, can we start with apologies and any introductions of any new people that have joined today, please? Jane, yep. So, Jane, yep. Please. So, um, I the think... apologies I've received. Uh, Natasha Mann, David Bing, uh, Eleanor Cooper, and Dave Brown. And and I think Jane, Richard Ackley, and Vicky Hines put their hands up. I assume to introduce themselves as new attendees. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Okay. Yes, that's right. Thanks, Mark. Um, I'm Vicky Hines. I'm the chief executive of One Warsaw. Welcome on board, Vicky. Thank you. Come on. And hi, hi everybody. I'm I'm Richard Ackley. I'm the new construction director for the Walsall Town Centre Regeneration Projects. Thank you, Richard. Welcome on board. Thank you. So, Mark, I know there's a brief for everyone. Right? Do you want me to do some introductions of everybody? Uh, quick introductions from starting from the top, so that everyone knows who they are. That's that's up to you, Chair. But yeah. we we'll we'll need to then move on to the annual general meeting when we've yeah. done that. OK, so can I start with Alison, please? If Alison, you want to just introduce yourself to Vicky and Richard, please. Good afternoon. My name is Alison Guerra and I work for the Programme Management Officer Office and I'm the team leader for the accountable body. Um, okay. So we do all of the sort of the paperwork, et cetera, and the reporting and monitoring of the projects. Okay, Claire. Well, good afternoon, uh, thanks, Chair. My name's Claire Wills. I'm a program management team leader in Mark Service, and uh, I lead on some of the block switch uh, programs and one of also can into capital. Uh, can I introduce Council Andrews? Come back to Council Andrews. So. Dean, can I get you to just? Okay. Deb, can you can hear I me, Mandy? I can, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I reckon you there. Do, uh, Councillor Andrews, do you want to? Oh, it's new, new, new equipment from the council. Jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> Councillor Andrews, I'm on the deputy leader of the council. Thank you. Um, Dean, are you there? Uh, can I move on to Deb, please? Deb? Deb, you're on mute. Uh, hi, everybody. Deb Rajania, Director of Operations and Resorts. You're going to have to bear with me. Good afternoon, all, but I've got really bad internet. I've just moved and I'm waiting for my new broadband to be installed on Friday. So at the moment, I'm using a 4G mini hub. So you're going to have to bear with me from intermittent or cut out. But I'm Dean Stevens, one of the program manager officers on the Block Switch program, leading on the digital incubation and supporting the construction skills through region. Hope you heard that. <laughs> it did, Dean. Thank you very much. Uh, Deb, Deb, can I bring you in? Hi, um, Deb Rajania. I'm uh, director of operations and resources for Walsall College, and I'm responsible for the town deal projects for, that are being run by the college. Thank you very much, Deb. Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Liz Connolly. I'm with the Policy and Strategy Unit at the Council, so just here to uh, support with strategic alignment across Town Deal and, and what's happening more widely. Thank you, Liz. Ray. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Ray Flynn, Associate Director for Regional Development at the University of Wolverhampton. Thank you very much. Can I introduce the Member of Parliament, uh, uh, Eddie Hughes, as well, please, Eddie? Good afternoon to the new people. Good to see you. 
James. Thank you, James Dennison, Canal and River Trust. Thank you, James. Norris. Uh, hi, everybody. James Norris, Assistant Principal Commercial Development at Warsaw College. It's James, can I introduce Jack next? Hi, everyone. Jack Sharma, Principal of Warsaw College. Jane. It's on mute. Yeah, Sorry, I'm on, I'm on mute again. No, um, yeah, Jane Hadley, I'm the business support officer for program management team and I'm supporting town deal board meetings. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Carl? Thank you, Chair. Uh, Carl Woodward, Director of Breach Hill Limited and also Chair of the Warsaw Advisory Board. Carl. Kelly? Hi, Kelly Valenti. Uh, Finance manager, part of the accountable body team, but also mm. helping projects continue through their business case development. Kevin. Hi, Kevin Davies, Chief of the Convergence Group and Chair of its Mercy Multicamera Trust, which is one of the projects in the town of Digital Hub. Mark. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Mark Lavender, Head of Programme Management, uh, Secretariat for the Town Deal Board, and also one of the lead officers for the Block Switch Town Deal Programme. Right. And then Robert, please. Uh, Rob Judson, Chief Operating Officer for HomeServe North America, representing HomeServe in Warsaw. Thank you, Rob. OK, so Mark, I will hand over to you today uh, for the a AGM, please. Thank you, Chair. Um, Acting as uh, Secretariat for the uh, Town Deal Board, uh, we now move on to the annual general meeting, um, which is a requirement within our terms of reference that uh, we hold on, obviously, annually. Um, there are three, uh, three items to uh, move through. Uh, the first one, which I'll get to in a moment, is the appointment of a chair. The second one is the appointment of a vice chair. And then it's just to ask for you to accept the terms of reference. So if I can start with the appointment of the chair, um, Manjit has informed me that he is happy to remain as chair, but in terms of the vote, I need to ask if there's any other persons that would like to put themselves forward um, as a alternate chair. If you can indicate that, not just by lifting your hand, but by speaking, and if there is silence for the next 10 seconds. I'll take that as there are no alternatives to Mandy. OK, I take that then, Manjit, that there are no uh, nobody standing uh, against yourself for chair. So, Manjit, are you willing to remain and accept the role of chair for the year ahead? Thank you very much. Yes, if uh, everyone still wants me, as they say. It's obvious that they do, Manjit. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the election of vice chair. Um, currently, um, Councillor Andrew is uh, vice chair of the board. Uh, Councillor Andrew has expressed to me that he would like to remain and continue as vice chair. Uh, is that correct, uh, Councillor Andrew? That is correct. If people will still have me, yeah. OK, as as before, then, um, could I ask if there are any nominees that would like to uh, be considered for the role as vice chair? If there are, could you do that not only by indicating a raise of hand, but by speaking, please? And again, we'll give 10 seconds um, for that to take place. OK, thank you. There's no, uh, no nobody has come forward. Councillor Andrew, uh, would you be happy to accept the role of vice chair for the year ahead? More than happy. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Thank you. Uh, moving on then to the uh, terms of reference. If I can hand back to Manjit as chair, just to ask if everybody's happy with that, and then we can move into the public session. Thank you, Manjit. Thank you very much, Mark. Uh, has everyone reviewed the terms of reference and is there anything in particular that, that we would like to amend or do we accept them as they are? So Mark, I've got no hands up, so I would, That's I, great. I would accept them as they are, please. Thank you, Chair. 
So moving forward to the public se session again, uh, do you want to go through the timetable of the meeting and the decorations of interest? If there are any decorations, can people please confirm that other than the standard ones that we already have declared on our returns? So Lucy, shall we go through the minutes page by page? If you want to bring them up, we can go through yeah. them and like normal, we'll go page by page. Mm -hmm. And if there are any alterations, we can pick them up through that process. Yes, that's fine. No problem. So hopefully you can see those being shared on screen. Yeah. OK, so I'll just mention the page numbers. If anybody can just um, refer me to the page number if they have any amends. So um, these were the public minutes. We have page one. Page two. Page three. And that's the minutes for those. Any comments? Lucy, I'm not seeing any uh, hands up, so we'll take them as a true reflection of our meeting. OK, thank you. And if we could go to agenda item number four of Mark, so uh, if you want to lead on that and EC, please. Yeah, thank you, uh, Chair. Um, the, these are consultation events or invites uh, that board members may be interested in. The first one is an invitation to the Children's First Summit, uh, and the invite comes from the Children and Young People Strategic Alliance. They are inviting key leaders from across Warsaw to attend their first ever summit, which takes place on the 23rd of June, and it's to inform their strategy. Uh, it takes place between nine o'clock and 3.30, and it will, it will help to inform their new 2040 children's and young people strategy. Uh, and they asked me specifically to mention it at the Town Deal Board because they like they would like some community groups, but also private sector members joining the group. Uh, and also from the college, because obviously that's where a lot of the young people will look to go to as part of their journey through life. So we thought that was important to bring that to the board. The second one um, is some transport consultation. Uh, and, and this is uh, proposals to um, carry out improvements to two junctions uh, and roads within Blockswich, which help to connect the town centre to the rail station. Um, if I can just share my screen very, very quickly, Chair, I'm conscious of time, so I will do this very quickly. Um, to give you an example of the sorts of works that are going to be carried out, this shows the installation of new cycling uh, lanes, new junction improvements, uh, the introduction of a new um, uh, crossing, a Pelican crossing, and other improvements to the town. That's one of the drawings to the one of the streets, which is Cranmore Avenue and Elmore Green Road, I think it is. And then the next one, the next as long as my system works, shows some other junctions, more specific improvements, where there's a new puffing crossing or uh, being upgraded to a to a toucan crossing with shared uh, utilities and also the introduction of some new tree planting and some new uh, cycleways. So there's there's some examples of some co that that work is happening through the um, connectivity and transport scheme for blocks, which which links into the work that we're doing on the canals. So that so very quickly, chair, there's the uh, consultation and and uh, invitations to various um, events that I think the board would be happy about. Thank you, Mark. I think no, uh, those have been circulated to the broader membership as that, from yeah. what I understand. So they're anyone... all in the Teams folder, chair. Thank you. So. Can I, uh, if there are no questions on that, can I ask Rupert to give uh, an overview of uh, the Blockswich Advisory Board update, please? Right. Am I, can you all hear me now? We can, yes. Good. Thank you. Chair, apologies for being late. Um, I was, um, I was just struggling to get into the room. Um, technology, you know, in the salary industry, you know, we're, we're a bit behind it. Um, so. Yeah, so we've had. Um, so let me update you. On. 
the Block Switch Advisory Board. Um, we met on Thursday, the 25th of May. Um, everybody is very engaged. Um, we all feel, I feel, um, very well informed um, and on everything. And we are, I think this is the key thing, Over this is an overview. Um, we are happy with progress. Um, financially, uh, um, uh, we've overachieved <laughs> and this uh, uh, in terms of spend in this in this um, uh, year end, um, which um, uh, is a great is is, a, is an achievement, and will hopefully um, counterbalance um, uh, overall for the for the for the uh, um, Warsaw town the Warsaw board. Um, in terms of um, actual specific. Um, um uh projects um this will be brief and let me just say i know that this will not do justice to those who are driving these um uh, these forward um all of which um uh they are doing very satisfactory so apologies to those of you um ahead of here but um uh, start with promotion of construction skills through regeneration um it was reported that a lot had been a lot of the behind the scenes work had been going on um, to lay the foundations, grant agreements, application process, etc. That's sort of where we are. And, and there's a, a, a launch of that then on the 15th of July. That's where we are on that. That's a very brief um, uh, update on that project. Um, and that's our main project, of course financial terms um, incubation um, space digital access center um, happy to report the contracts uh, were exchanged there at the end of March and completion is due in the middle of July architects are appointed I think that's all we need to say on that one um, uh, green block switch progress running perfectly satisfactory we had an update um, uh, on 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 where we where we are visual update on that our gators are engaged um, uh, active travel connectivity I think the point that um, I'd like to just bring to the board's attention on that is that work is ongoing on the the towpath the towpath upgrade um, but there's been a there's um, a little bit of a hiatus on that at the moment um, with some of the contractors work being um, um, uh, subject to a bit of vandalism um, but um, there are the, so we're just having a bit of a pause on that um, but that will restart um, and hopefully um, that, that that problem should be abated somewhat uh, um, community capital um, applications ongoing seven applications five gone on to the next process but that is ongoing so um progress perfectly satisfactory thank you chair that's all i have to say thank you rupert thank you very much uh open the floor up for any questions for rupert uh thank you rupert uh Carl, can I bring you in for an update for the Walsall Advisory Board meetings, please? Thank you, Chair. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to not get into too much detail, but I'm going to give some bullet points to some of the uh, projects and one thing or another where we are. So the advisory board met on the 22nd of May um, and we had an initial we had some initial introductions of um, some updates concerning some of the personnel changes that have, have been going on. And also um, just an introduction on the low carbon program being applied to the projects um, around the sustainability and the like. Um, we've also had Alison was kind enough to give us a financial status on the projects uh, which were provided to the board. Um, the sort of headlines on that is that the spend profile for Walsall is at approximately 4.6 million. Uh, we have got a shortfall on that, although not all of the claims have been received um, as yet. Uh, the project adjustments were made uh, were, were to be made to government to reflect the current uh, project positions and there was and have been some questions related to the risk profiling and the visibility therefore the lead officers were reminded to ensure that the 
registers are updated and returned on the 26th of May for inclusion at the June advisory board. This was just a piece around some of the visibility and that around some of the projects. We've had a number of changes and bits and pieces. And it was just to make sure that we kept the whole membership of the advisory board on board and fully understanding about the projects themselves and also the bigger picture and how that uh, fit together. So in terms of the actual project updates, um, active public spaces, and there's a little bit of overlap here with obviously some of the combined with the block switch projects, but the active public spaces are still at RIBA3 with the final report due at the end of May, or was due at the end of May, including finalised design information. Um, engagement has commenced with the planners regarding the also the footbridge. So again, it's tying with some of the other pieces of work that are going on around in and around the uh, uh, town deal. On the Construction Skills Academy, uh, we've got a build contractor on site, uh, which some of the images were shared of the still frame in progress. There's a slight delay due to some supply issues, but uh, financially on target uh, with the revised funding. Um, so going well in, in, in that regard. The Advanced Electric Vehicle Technology Centre, um, the submit designed by the end of May. Um, as due to the change in the match funding, presently tender stage requiring the board approval from the college. Um, and there are elements, uh, the elements regarding the land purchase have all now been um, completed. Digital Skills Hub purchase of the shops is complete. Um, the, uh, Bob, 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 sorry, a purchase area that is complete. The area um, is going to be branded St Matthew's Education Quarter, and the recruitment for the centre has begun um, with the fit out of the procurement in progress, looking to be opened at the end of the financial year. Um, Correct assemblies, RIBA stage three has been extended to the end of May due to the fire strategy design work. There's some cost pressures identified and will be updated in due course. Planning applications to be submitted at the early part of June. Uh, heads of terms to be finalised and the project has a formal award from the Cultural Development Fund, which again is another tie-in. There was no update on the Adult Learning Centre on the 22nd of May at the time. Um, and then finally, we've done some of this already with the active travel and connectivity which was just in regards to the because the limit funded on the Walsall side um, has been planned to be part of the pedestrian access in the group with the transport for West Midlands um, through bus improvements, which is currently sitting with the legal team. Um, we obviously then have the update on the canals and the towpaths, which is obviously making good progress and obviously some mention to the delays on block, which we've got the community capital program that's gone out to expression of interest. We've had returns on that now and we've been taken through the next steps of that process. Um, there was a question raised on that about some of the events and the signposts and that, but that has gone out quite extensively and that will continue to promote that uh, capital program to engage the uh, the VC um, uh, voluntary sector except, uh, voluntary sector groups. And really finally, we had a marketing communication update from Keith uh, just around the comms regeneration plans being reviewed, appointment of the dedicated comms officers and the workshops planned with the town board members. Um, and then the forward plan was just really to ensure that the leads add photographs and progress around, uh, uh, progress around the project to just to further engage the stakeholders. Hopefully that provides, sorry, it's a bit lengthy, but hopefully that gives you a good enough uh, feel of where all the projects are, Chair. Thank you very much, Carl. Thank you very much. Um, again, any questions for Carl? On the base mark, we've got uh, no questions for Carl on this uh, public meeting. Uh, our date of our next meeting is the 19th of July at 2.30. Lucy, can I suggest that we stop recording and then we'll go into the private session thereafter? Yes, I'll just do that now.